nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. Is it's it it's not a good not a good background. It's a terrible background. That's going to be cringe. I know that's going to be cringe. <sighs> hey, it's me, Roku. You may have noticed that I pronounce it Roku, the Japanese way, and not Roku, the American way, because it's a Japanese nickname. And it means at the same time Roku, the word to say rock music in Japanese, because it's my favorite type of music and Roku, the number 6, which is my favorite number. Well, this is my first video on this channel, but it's not my first, first video. I have another channel, but it's in French and I talk about Japan. But I was kind of tired making videos on it because there is so many French people talking about Japan and many are better than I am and it's just a waste of time sometimes. <laughs> I've got like 800 subscribers and it's not moving <laughs> really fast so I was kind of sad about it well <laughs> so yes I'm French not that I'm proud about it mm -mm. <laughs> now you know so that you can understand where my lovely accents came from <laughs> you're trying to be nice but you're French <laughs> I'm not really good at English so maybe yeah, I'm gonna pronounce things wrong and you can correct me if you want in the comments, but I don't know if I can improve really. <laughs> so yeah, I think that sometimes my accent will sound more British and sometimes it will definitely look American because most of English influence we have in France is American accent. So I don't want to annoy anyone, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, my accent is weird. Anyway, <laughs> that subject is officially closed. The only thing I'm sure of is my pronunciation of the word kawaii. <laughs> you guys, in the Lolita world, you pronounce it kawaii in a so weird way, like saying kawaii. I hear kawaii all the time, but kawaii sounds like kawaii, which means uh, scary in Japanese, so it's better to pronounce it ka wa -i. it's three syllables. I know, I know it's not easy for... I think for American people it's quite difficult. <laughs> I'm not laughing about it or <laughs> anything. I've been learning Japanese for 10 years, so I have the right to be Ita for that. Totally legit to say, ne. <laughs> no, I can do that really. So I'm a bittersweet Lolita. I know this term is controversial. I'm so sorry to use this term. I've noticed that so many people are angry about it. Like, bittersweet Lolita is nothing to do with bittersweet, it's just sweet Lolita with black as a main color. However, I love black and I love pink and I love both of these colors equally. <laughs> so when it comes to fashion, wearing only pink is too pink for me and wearing only black is too black for me. Cotton candy, mmm, it's too big for me. Cotton candy shop by Angelic Pretty, oh, perfect. Military, mmm, bad for me. Military sweets by Bodyline, mmm, good for me. A sweet ice cream, meh. Kumia, sweet ice cream, yeah. A horror shop, no. A horror candy shop. Yeah, can you understand the thing? <laughs> so yeah, I've been in love with pink and black for about 10 years, I think. I remember when I was 14. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, that's awful. I was in Florida at that time because I really couldn't afford it. So I think we can say that I'm cute but cynical. The reason I can't be really gothic is that I love sweet Florida pattern. I'm so in love with bunnies and with cakes! <laughs> I love cake patterns and I really love uh, the bunnies or even the bears. And I really wish there were more dogs on Lolita patterns. It's always all about cats and there's not even a dog. 
except for poodles. I think Angelic pretty use a lot of poodles. Close up to this dress. I'm ready to accept a pattern with cats if there are dogs or bunnies on it. <laughs> I also love crocodiles. It's one of my favorite animals, but I think they are so much like dinosaurs. I know that has nothing to do with dinosaurs. I mean, biology level, but <laughs> but oh my god, they're so strong, uh, and, and I love them so much. I love dinosaurs too, but I don't know if dinosaurs and crocodiles and all that dress. I try to draw a cute crocodile to see if it works, but I mean, they made cute bats, so why can't we have cute crocodiles? I don't really precisely know what I'm gonna make uh, on this channel, what type of video I'm gonna make, but Lolita fashion makes me so happy and I just wanted to share this with you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. And in fact I have a few ideas, <laughs> I know what I'm gonna make. I also have some great upcoming things, so... So my life currently is pretty meaningless and <laughs> pointless. <laughs> I don't have a job. I just had my master's degree, trilingual negotiator in international business and trade. Can I translate this this way? <laughs> yes, so I can basically speak French, English and Japanese, but I think that Lolita fashion is a great way to be out of depression sometimes, except when you see a gorgeous dream dress on a lace market and uh, just someone takes it before you, but yeah, <laughs> it's very depressing. So I wanted to start this channel as a challenge for me and also to share things with you without pressure. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. So, Please share this channel if you like that first video. So be bitter, but be sweet.